Hey everybody, so uh, welcome to Web Design. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with a program that I like to use. Uh, it's called CodePen.io. It's a website. Uh, in this website, you can code HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all at the same time. And it shows you what the browser will show you. Um, it's a really handy tool because you can save all of your work. Um, it says right there that CodePen is a social development environment for front-end designers and developers build and deploy a website, show off your work, and test different cases to learn to debug and find inspiration. So if you can, go ahead and sign up. Um, if you sign up for CodePen, please use your uh, email and put in a password. Uh, once you get that, uh, you'll go ahead and log in. And once you log in, you'll come to this like landing page. Now, for a lot of you, you'll see something like trending. Okay, now trending has like other people's pens okay so you get to see what other people are doing with html css and javascript and you can go take a look at it at one, oh, uh, you know if you want now the nice thing about this is that it shows you the html the css and the javascript that people use to write these things so this for example is a really nice navigation bar that animates okay you can see that as you go through so it's a really nice example of what you could do and over here the person who wrote this um, you could see that they wrote all of this html they wrote all of the css okay and they wrote all this javascript down here okay so they're coding quite a lot and it's usually not nice to steal their work but at the same time, uh, it's a good if you want to see how people are doing things, it's a good idea to uh, go and check things out. Um, so if you click on the top left little cube, that white cube right there, you'll go home. And, uh, you know, CodePen is pretty straightforward. If you want to start coding HTML and CSS and JavaScript, you can just click on this pen right here. Okay. And once you click on pen, you're greeted by a bunch of blank you know areas okay um this section in here is for your html this section in here is for your css and this section over here is for your javascript okay so you can go ahead and start coding out a whole page if you want um, but i would recommend before you start doing any of that uh simply change the name of your file uh you want to call it you know test demo or whatever you know um, but you would want to name your file so you can keep track of your files all right, so a couple things I want to go over is how to use CodePen. Once you're in the code editor, um, you can change the view. Um, let's say that you don't want to look at it like this, where it's side by side. You can go like this, where you see your HTML, CSS, and JS at the top. Or if you want to look at it from the left, you can see your HTML, CSS, and JS. So you have a different, couple different ways of, of viewing um, your browser window which is the white space in here and then your html code and css code and js code which is over here on the left now in order to start a basic page it's very simple all you have to do is type in html colon five oops and then you hit tab the tab key okay and what happens is that you, once you hit that tab key you're given all of this code right here. Now this code makes up a basic HTML page. Okay. Um, this is what's called a boilerplate. Okay. And it's the idea that a lot of the designers and developers don't want to have to type in all this code every single time they start an HTML page. So what they do is they create like a shortcut and that shortcut is HTML colon five. And then hit tab and then you get a whole page okay now just to let you guys know um, in html if you want to put in any content it goes in between the body tags you don't want to put your content anywhere in this area up here in the head or html or doc type all your content like your text images links uh, videos whatever have you it's always going to be in between the body tags so we're going to start off with an h1 okay now, another quick way of creating HTML tags is you just type in H1 or whatever tag you want to type and you hit the tab key and that automatically produces a set of H1 tags. Okay. So, and what's nice about this is that your cursor 
lands in the middle of the beginning tag and the ending tag. So you could just start typing in, this is my headline, okay? And you could see over here, as soon as I type that in, I got some really big, bold text, which is great because I'm starting to put content in my page. So let's say for an example, I want to put in a paragraph. I hit P, hit the tab key, and I get a set of paragraph tags or P tags as we call. Them. And I would just simply type in, this is a paragraph. So let's say that I also wanted to put in a smaller headline, like a subheadline. I can put in an H3 and then hit tab. And then I can type in, this is my subheadline. Okay. So as you can see here, I've put in three separate elements into the body of my page. Okay. I have an H1 element. I've got a P element and I got an H3 element. Okay. So I've got some, you know, text in here. And, uh, before I move too far, you can see up here, it says 21 unsaved changes. So what that means is that I've done 21 things to this page right here and I haven't saved my work. So guess what? It's probably a good idea to go ahead and save your work. So I'm going to click save. It'll reload the page a little bit, but that's all right. You can just move this out again. Um, and let's say for example, you know, I'm done with this. Okay. I'm done. I can always go back to the beginning. Okay. And I can go to my work right here, or it says your work. If you click on that, you can see that, you know, I have all these different little pens that I work with. Okay. And, uh, they're all right there and I can browse through them and I can work on them if I want, you know, if I can pull them up and mess around with them. So at the top, you have your work, you have your pens, and now you have your projects. Now I would suggest staying away from projects just now because, um, you only get one project in CodePen. But like I said before, you get unlimited pens. So you get unlimited of these little projects that you can play around with, but you only get one project. So stay away from projects now, unless you want to pay for it. Um, but the pens I think are invaluable. Um, so let's go back into the test demo that I was writing. And I want to show you just a few more things before um, you know, I end this, uh, this lesson. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of the, the things down here. Okay. The, the little buttons at the bottom. The main ones I want to go over are embed, export, and share. The share is probably the more um, useful that you're going to use. If you click on share, you'll see that you can share this pen on Facebook, Dev, Twitter, or you can simply just copy the link. You can also text this to somebody if you really want. I mean, I, I would stay away from texting, but if you want to try it, go ahead and try it. But if you click on copy link, you can copy this link. You can go to, let's say your email, you know, go in there and compose an email. And let's say you're going to send it to yourself or whomever. And you could paste that link right there. And this link will take the person directly to that code pen. So having this link is really, really important. You could do a lot of different things with it, but um, sharing is really nice feature in code pen because I'm able to share this with other people say, Hey, look at my work, you know, or check this code out. It's really cool. The other thing that I can do down below is something called export. Okay. Export's really important because let's say you create a page and it's got a lot of CSS and JavaScript and you really like it. And let's say you want to put it up onto a hosted web page. Okay. I can export this and export the zip. Okay. And you'll get an option to download the zip. Okay. You download it. And when you open it up, and I'll show you it over here. When you open it up, you can see here, I got a folder called test demo. Okay. Inside test demo, there's a folder called dist that stands for distribution. Okay. And this is where your index file, your, your HTML file is going to be held. So let's say I want to upload this to a web server. I can do that. I can also just drop it into my browser and you can see it's the same thing. No difference. Okay. So again, um, downloading it as a zip, really helpful. 
and it'll get you started uh, pretty good, okay? The other thing, the last thing I want to go over real quick is embed, okay? You can embed this into a form. You can embed this somewhere else where people can take a look at it. So, um, you know, this is a really powerful tool. So you can actually embed your pen, the pen itself, directly into an HTML page. So say if you're on Reddit and you want to paste this into a Reddit, you know, uh, form document, you could do that. So again, a really helpful, really important thing. Um, I highly recommend that you use it. Um, fork and add to collection. We'll get into that later. Um, fork is like when you may want to make a copy of it. You can fork uh, somebody else's work to your own account. But, you know, I, I recommend not doing that until you get a really good handle on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right, guys. So this pretty much covers uh, CodePen um, and how it works. Um, I, I hope you guys go ahead and start coding because, again, you can create unlimited pens. You can keep experimenting with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right. Thank you.